Hey everyone, so we're gonna go through some of the main pieces that we include in your kit that will help you install your solar. This is what's known as a crown, super simple. What you do is you can go on top of your roof and mark certain important sections of that roof. One instance is marking where your L feet need to drill in and your flashing needs to sit. So this is what's known as a flashing. After you mark where your L feet are gonna go on your roof, penetrating into the truss, this is gonna go right underneath those shingles to prevent any type of water to, from seeping into your roof. This is what's known as an L foot. What you do is you take your flashing, after you put it underneath the shingles, you put this right on top of here, secure it, drill it in, and you're good to go you'll be getting a lot of a railing inside of your kit. If there's ever a point where you need to join two pieces of rail together, you use this splice. You just put it underneath both ends of the rail and fasten it in. This is what's known as a ground lug. What you do with this is you run your copper wire, the ground wire, right here against this little ridge. You have this bolt, you have this washer, what you do after you put the ground wire right against this ridge, you fasten this nut down so it's nice and tight, holding that ground wire against this little ridge. This is what's known as an MLPE. Now it looks a lot like the ground lug, but don't let it fool you. One of the key differences is this humongous circular washer. What you do is you fasten this into the snap and rack railing. You take your microinverter, which has a hook, and you put it right underneath this washer. Once it's secure, you just fasten, fasten this bolt down and it holds everything in place. This is what's known as a nid clamp. What you do with this is you fasten it inside the snap and rack railing, right in between two uh, two panels and after you line it up you just fasten it down and that secures both panels from the inside this is what we call an end clamp what it does is it goes underneath the inside of your panel now on the inside of your panel there's going to be a little lip this goes over clamps down on that lip and holds it secure this little piece of paper is so you can pull the end clamp right up to that lip and then fasten it after using this bolt. 